Uh, good morning. It's Monday, and I'm back in the uh, saddle. All right, I'm bringing you uh, this update on the Flint, Michigan water crisis. Now, I've already done um, a video on it, and there really isn't any uh, additional information um, that I am posting um, in this video. Uh, but you're going to see the names of the six individuals uh, that are being charged. Now, in that second group, the highest ranking official, okay, uh, I think her name is Leanne Sketter. I'll point her name out uh, when the list of names comes up. This woman, let me back up. A question was asked during the uh, news conference as to motive. And no one can apparently, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> come up with motive. Well, I, I got a motive or a potential motive. This woman, if I have the correct person uh, targeted, supposedly, allegedly, possibly, maybe, has ties to a major white supremacist group, okay? And this woman supposedly was bragging to various individuals exactly what she did and made disparaging comments about a certain group of residents of Flint, Michigan. Those are all alleged facts. Nothing at this point has been proved. So I guess we're gonna to have to wait for all of the evidence uh, to come out in court. But uh, during the press conference, the uh, lead attorney was asked about motive and he said he couldn't speak to motive at this point, but when uh, they make their case in court, that motive would be apparent. Now, if there was no major financial gain occurring here, then the motive had to be elsewhere. And like I said, maybe I'm wrong, but anyway, that's the water part. Now we come to find out that the uh, emergency manager had signed a trash contract that's for trash pickup in the city of Flint. Well, the company that he signed up for the trash pickup apparently was overcharging and overcharging by a mega amount. I'm going to play the entire clip um, and at the end of the clip um, it's going to make mention of the various companies and uh, the overcharging but my real point is the mayor uh, which had stopped the uh, no uh, bid uh, contracts and uh, through the contract out for bid obviously found uh, lower bids including the company that uh, had the contract hell she's being sued by one of the council members who doesn't want her to use the lowest bid um, can you spell uh, money change in hand somewhere? Anyway, here's the video. Water crisis. The charges against the employees vary, but authorities say they all tried to cover up the truth. Investigators say the suspects altered or buried reports from two different Michigan agencies questioning the high levels of lead in Flint's children and in the water. Nancy Peeler, Corinne Miller, Robert Scott, on the three health and human services workers charged, Leon Schechter Smith, Adam Rosenthal, and Patrick Cook, on the three environmental quality employees charged, Schechter Smith is the highest ranking official charged in the investigation. She's the one that apparently or allegedly has ties to white supremacist groups. Investigators say the former chief of the Office of Drinking Water bragged about silencing an environmental protection agency employee who leaked a 2015 memo 
about rising lead levels. They also say she concealed evidence and ignored reports that the water plant was out of compliance. She's charged with misconduct and one count of willful neglect on duty. This is the second round of charges related to the water crisis, bringing the total to nine people facing charges. And on top of all of this, there's a dispute in Flint over trash removal. Today is the first day trash services have been suspended because the city's contract with Republic Services expired on Friday. A city council member is suing the mayor over her plans to hire a new contractor. A hearing on the matter will, will resume on Tuesday. Joining us via Skype to talk about all this is Flint, Michigan Mayor Dr. Karen Weaver. Uh, Dr. Weaver, uh, first and foremost, uh, your assessment on these charges, these six, these six employees now charged as a result of this water crisis. Well, you know, good morning. And one of the things I want to say is we've always been waiting for accountability and looking for accountability. And that's what the people of Flint have wanted ever since this water crisis started was to know who knew what and when they knew it and to hold them accountable at all levels. Uh, and so, so we talk about holding them accountable. Um, we, we, we look at these charges. These are employees who cover up with various documents, were you or anyone else aware of their actions? Well, no, I wasn't even in office at that time, but we knew that brown water was bad and we knew we didn't need scientists to tell us that. So all along the people of Flint knew something immediately after the switch and we couldn't understand why nobody else uh, uh, felt the same way or knew this information because we believed in our hearts that people knew. When it comes to this, this uh, the Attorney General, remember, immediately when this started, the AG did not want to get involved. After pressure, the AG got involved. Uh, do you believe there are going to be even more charges filed against other officials? I do believe that, and that's one of the things that uh, uh, Bill Schutte has said, is that there will be more ch charges brought against individuals. Let's talk about this trash crisis. Uh, all of a sudden, you're telling uh, residents, don't put their trash out. What's going on? Well, you know what, it's interesting because what we have is a, uh, a contract and one of the things that was in place under emergency manager was no big contracts that were just automatically renewed and in a cash strap city that's really not a good decision to make and a lot of those contracts were not in the best interest of the city of Flint and so I put contracts out for bid and what we are supposed to do per our charter is the lowest uh, responsible bid and so the uh, company that we had been using came in with their bid at two million lower well, and we thought wow I wonder why they were charging us two million more before we put the uh, request out for bid well uh, another company Rizzo came in two million under that so what happens is I'm not part of the bidding process the bids are presented to me and then I take forward the lowest responsible bid which happened to be Rizzo which was a savings of four million dollars and it was voted down so for the residents, what does this mean? How long is crisis going to take place? Well, uh, according to the judge, that's the one who issued the uh, no pickup, the no trash pickup. It wasn't me, it was the judge. Uh, and he said that it would be for today and then tomorrow we will be back in court. All right, Mayor Karen, we would surely appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Thank you. All right. All right, so you tell me there's an emergency manager in Flint during uh, the signing of this trash contract, okay? And obviously, he wasn't looking out for the best interest of Flint because he signs a contract that is obviously, obviously overinflated. It was my, in my opinion, it was overinflated because somebody was getting some payola from somewhere. Okay. Number two, as she said, you don't have evergreen or contracts that automatically renew uh, when you got financial issues with a city. You want to look at every dime that's going out on a continuous basis to try to maximize savings wherever you can. So, again, as she said, you don't have evergreen contracts, okay? She puts contracts out for bid. Like magic, 
the company that was overcharging, now they dropped down by $2 million, $2 million. So where was the emergency manager who had total authority? Where was his fiduciary responsibility to maximize the money saved by the city of Flint? He was asleep at the switch. And I think more than asleep at the switch, I think that was one of the ways he was able to uh, feather his nest, let us say. Okay, so now the company that they have drops their uh, cost or, or charges by two million, but then another company comes in and goes two million below that. Well, hell, now you know something is wrong, okay? But all that being said, now the mayor indicated that she's not involved in the bidding process. All she does is review the bids and by their city charter, she brings the lowest bid to the council. Now, you would think that the council would be jumping for joy, okay? As far as being able to save $4 million uh, and be able to use that money elsewhere, okay? just the savings of the four million dollars okay in that in their budget is going to make them look like fucking heroes no one of the city council members decides that she's going to sue to stop the mayor from accepting the bid you're saving four million dollars and you're getting your trash uh, picked up now obviously there's always uh, clauses and conditions uh, to get out of a contract if the company is not performing. So that, that, that goes without saying. That's, that's a standardized contract. Okay, now all the bells and the whistles within the contract, I haven't seen them, so I can't tell you. But I can tell you that uh, on that type of a contract, uh, if the company is not performing, the city does have escape clauses that they can utilize. So that in itself shouldn't be a problem of actually doing the job. So now I'm back to why is this city council member suing to stop this a new contract with savings of $4 million from uh, being signed off on and instituted? Again, I'm right back to where I was. Show me the money. If that city council member either has a hard on for the trash company uh, Rizzo or is getting something from somewhere to try to hold the existing company in place, okay? Or I'm missing something here. I'm missing something here. But as far as I'm concerned, there's something else going on um, in the city of Flint. And now it's gone from water which is a, a, a public service, a source of life, to uh, trash uh, collection, which is not necessarily uh, an immediate source of life, but uh, you can't live in your trash. So the trash has got to be removed. We will continue to follow.